Back in 2006, my ex-wife and I decided that we were going to buy a foreign property uh, and we chose Spain around the Mercia region. We attended a, uh, a promotional event <clears throat> at Manchester City's ground um, and this was organised by one of the big uh, estate agents that were working in the Mercia area at the time. We agreed to uh, go over to Spain um, and we uh, were shown a number of properties by the uh, estate agent and also we were introduced to the bank which is one of the Spanish cash banks which um, was affected by the crash in 2008. Uh, the value of the property was, um, was, was at the time seemed reasonable um, and we, we went ahead with this which was a key ready property because we didn't want to we, we, we thought we'd, we wouldn't take the risk of, of going for a off-plan um, property because of the, the the risk. So what we decided to do is we decided to get this key ready property and everything went ahead as planned. Obviously back in 2006 this was seemed to be a good idea but 2008 there was the banking crash and the value of the property effectively halved. Um, and what happened is we were left with a, even though we put down a, a sizable deposit from um, from our own savings, we were left with a property that was in negative equity with the with the bank in Spain. The Spanish bank then were subsequently taken over. Um, it's probably worth worthwhile to add at this particular time as well that when we took the mortgage out, we were offered a savings account uh, that offered ten percent uh, net on uh, balances up to a hundred thousand euros um, for twelve months, which was seemed very attractive at the time. We didn't take it up, but. Uh, you know, it's a good job that we probably didn't do. Um, anyway, so 20, uh, 2008, the, the banking crash, the, the price of the property was halved, and we were left with this property, which was uh, we were paying mortgage on, which was worth well less than the, the, the mortgage. Uh, we were paying the mortgage on, which, which was worth well less than the mortgage balance. Um, now, probably back in 2017, um, I was reading an article in in a local in one of the local Spanish newspapers at EU Property Solutions, and to be honest, at the time it looked too good to be good good to be true. We were told, you know, the the article said that um, it was uh, that they would uh, effectively negotiate a way out of the property uh, or negotiate way, negotiate a way to hand the property back to the bank. Um, like I said, it seemed too good to be true, and we didn't go ahead with it. However, um, last year, 2020, um, probably around about the September time, uh, we reconsidered this, and we 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 gave them a, we gave EU Property Solutions a call again, um, and we, we decided to go ahead with it. So this would probably you know this uh, so there was. This was probably about September, um, and we, all the, the ball started to roll, um, and we started the, the the process. We got the legal power of attorney signed by uh, a notary in the UK, um, and then uh, the we we just handed it over, um, and again we 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 were kept. Uh, we were kept informed by EU Property Solutions of the progress, and to be honest, there wasn't much to report on. It was just basically yes, the uh, legal documents have been received, everything had been well, negotiations going ahead as planned, um, and uh, just before Christmas, we got confirmation that the property had been handed over, or, or the papers had been signed by the notary uh, in Spain to hand the property back to the bank, and that was it. Prop the process was so simple. It was just effectively just gathering a little bit of um, uh, financial information from the UK and uh, let EU Property Solutions do the do the rest. As simple as that. And what I'd like to take this opportunity to thank um, Natalie and James from EU Property Solutions for carrying out this service for us. Thank you.